Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to start a product visualization project of perfume using 3ds Max and Unreal Engine and we are going to render it using Lumen and Part Tracing. This project will be divided in several videos as we are going to look from start to end process. In this video, we are going to use 3ds Max to create props for our perfume bottle and export the props and perfume bottle for Unreal Engine using Datasmith. So without any delay, let's jump into 3ds Max. As you guys can see, I am using 3ds Max for product visualization. You can use Maya, Blender or any other 3D application for your project. I have already imported a perfume bottle which you can see here. If I switch from clay to default shading, you can see this is a Joe Malone perfume. And I am also having some references of the perfume images of product visualization on my second screen. Let me show you that also. So if I show you here, you can see I am having some reference images here. I am using pure ref for reference images and we are going to use Unreal for a visualization purpose and we are going to use part tracing for this project. So let's start. Let's model some assets for our scene in Unreal Engine. So let's just switch again to clay here. We are going to create a cylinder and a window frame which will be in the backward of this perfume bottle. So let's just do first that. So let's just go to our standard primitives. Let's just go to cylinder here. We are going to create a big cylinder here. So let's just create something like this here. Now I am going to just move it somewhere over here. I am going to use the Datasmith workflow. So if you are familiar with Datasmith, it's supported with 3ds Max, I think Cinema 4D also. Uh, I'm not sure of Maya. You can use FBX workflow for Maya and Blender here. So let's just convert this to editable poly. So let's just first press F4 here. And now I'm going to increase the segments here. So by default segments are set to 32 here. I am going to increase it to 60 here. And I am not going to keep any height segments or cap segments here. Let's just convert it to editable poly here. So right click convert to editable poly. I am going to extrude the edges out here. So I am going to press 2. So I am in my edge mode here. I am going to select all my edges here and I am going to extrude it out. So I am going to reset it first by right clicking on this arrow. And now I am going to zoom in here. I am going to give some space here. Something like this. And I am going to extrude it, extrude it inwards something like this here. So let's just extrude it inward. Okay, now let's just press OK here. And if I go again into my modeling mode, now you can see this is looking something like this here. If I press F4 here, you can see this is looking like this. Now let's just add some more segments and give it a turbo smooth. So we can have a really high quality mesh because we are using it for product visualization. And I am going to convert it to nanite at the end of the day. So it doesn't matter how much high poly our scene is here. So let's just click here. Let's just go to again to our edge here. Let's just press F4. Now we are going to add some edges here. So we are going to connect here. And we are going to add two edges because we are going to use turbo smooth. So I want a edge here and here. So basically when I apply turbo smooth, our shape is maintained from there. So we are going to go for two here and we are going to just increase this seg increase this segment height here and we are going to do something like this and let's just press OK here. Now we are going to add some supporting edges in the between of this vertical edges. So let's just select this and we are again going to go for connect here and we are going to just add like five or six edges here. So let's just add some six edges. And let's just press OK here. Let's just go for 8 now. And let's just press OK. And now if I click here. And if I press F4, you can see it's looking like this. Now let's just add our Turbo Smooth here. So we are going to go to our modifier list. And we are going to apply a Turbo Smooth. And now you can see this is looking like this here. And we are going to increase our iterations to 2. Now let's just create our second asset which we are going to use. So let's just uh, create our window frame here. So let's just go to our spline here. We are going to create a rectangle. 
and now we are going to go to our modify tab we are going to right click we are going to convert it so let's just convert it to editable spline here let's just go to our vertex here let's just select all our vertices so let's just press alter q so we can isolate this object so let's just press alter q here now we are going to select our vertices here and we are going to give it right click and a corner okay now we are going to our here spline mode and now we are going to add a outline here so let's just add a outline something like this for our window frame and this is looking good now let's just go out of this mode let's just extrude it out here so you can see we are getting something like this and we are going to extrude it out somewhere around this okay so we are getting this window frame here and we are going to again go out of our isolate mode and you can see this is looking something like this so let's just rotate this so let's just press e let's just on the angle snap here by pressing a key and we are going to go for 90 degrees here and we are going to take it upwards something like this okay so let's just take it upwards let's just take it forward something like this and we are going to adjust the height of this window so let's just right click let's just convert it to editable poly let's just press one here and we are going to adjust it as per our reference here okay i am having my reference in my second monitor here so we are going to do something like this okay and now i'm going to select this vertices here and i'm going to extend it out a bit okay okay great now i'm going to increase this also so i'm going to press r here and i'm going to increase the height of this something like this okay now my scene is ready for the export process i am going to give some bevel here before exporting it out so i am going to go to edge mode and i am going to select the edges here so i am going to select this edge this edge here okay i am working in clay mode if you want you can work in default shading also you can press f4 to see the segments and then just use the bevel here so i am going to select all the edges and i am going to give some bevel here so i am going to scroll downwards and i am going to add a chamfer okay let's just increase the amount here to something like this okay and let's just press okay so this is looking nice let's just press f4 again and this is looking something like this here okay now let's just export them we are going to use the data smith workflow for this and we are going to export each and every object separately so if you are not having data smith just google just search on google for data smith for 3ds max and just install it in your max restart the and uh, max and you will find it here in direct link here we are not going to use the direct link we are going to export it one by one okay so let's just select this here so let's just go out of this modeling mode now let's just select this object here Come. okay now we are going to go to file export export selected and we are going to save it to our folder here and we are going to save it here so let's just name it to prop1 yeah. and let's just save it into data smith so let's just click on save here now we are going to export this also so let's just export this also export selected and i am going to search my location here which is here okay and let's just name this also to prop2 let's just export this bottle but before exporting i want each and every object to be separated i don't want a combined mesh because i'm going to apply materials on this you if you want you can export it as a combined mesh but if you are going to animate the cap or maybe the bottle itself or maybe something else it's better to export it as different objects okay not in a combined thing so let's just do that also so let's just go to our element i'm going to select this cap here i'm going to detach it out so let's just detach here and let's just name it to cap 
okay i am going to detach this also so i am going to name it to porphyrin glass okay. now i am going to select that sticker also i am going to detach and i am going to name it to sticker and let's just select this also this is basically our perfume here or liquid material so let's just detach this also if you don't want you cannot detach this also because at the end of the day it's only a one object which is remaining here so if i show you here you can see we are only having this so just let's just name it to perfume liquid now this is completed here now what we are going to do we are now going to export this out so let's just select all of this objects here and let's just select this also okay let's just hold control and select all of this let's just move it and see okay all are selected and now let's just export it out so we are going to go to file export export selected we are going to select our visualization and we are going to export it as a perfume here now our export is done we are now going to create a new unreal engine scene for product visualization stuff now we are going to go to unreal here i have already opened the project window here now we are going to use a architecture template because it's already having a lumen reflections of 2048 it already having enabled the ray tracing option the path tracing option so i am going to use this blank template if you want you can also use the film and video blank template and you can turn on the ray tracing then you can turn on the data smith option and all that stuff but here in architecture by default all the things are enabled and lumen is also set to 2048 for reflections path tracing is enabled then you have hdri also enabled so i am using this template i am i have already selected my project location and i already renamed it to perfume wiz and let's just create our project here 